What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video and today we have a quick mail day with a couple of things and we've also got something else I'm going to show you guys. So first of all, for this video, I'm going to be giving away two LOB hollows, a trap hole and a man eater bug. So these are not um, recent reprints, so they're not 2014 reprints, so that's pretty cool. They're original um, LOB hollows. So if we hit 40 likes on this video, I'll pick a random commenter and you will win the giveaway. So we've been doing a lot of giveaways recently, and so far I've had everybody contact me, been able to give out the giveaways pretty easily, so it's been going pretty well. So keep liking the videos, and you get a chance to uh, win the giveaway. So also, make sure you guys hit the bell for the uh, channel, because you'll get notifications when I upload a video. Also, there's this thing on YouTube, it'll tell me which of y'all are uh, belled or whatever, but it also tells me that some of y'all um, are belled, but you are, don't have notifications on for YouTube. So if you don't have notifications on for YouTube, then you won't get my notifications, even if you have them on. So you need to turn on your notifications for YouTube to be able to get my notifications. So there are a few of y'all um, that won't be getting notifications because your notifications are off. So make sure you turn on your YouTube notifications as well, and then you will get all the notifications when I upload, which has been a lot recently. I've been doing like every single day, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it up. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I've got a potential big PSA return. We're getting our Genzo back supposedly soon. This was day eight of eight and they still haven't finished it. So it should be getting done soon. Um, so that should be coming back hopefully this week. There's also two, uh, I ordered two different sets of packs that are both pretty cool. One's gonna be another search. We're gonna be searching for a ghost rare. This has been a pretty widely requested one. You can probably guess what it is. Let me know what you think it is down in the comments. Which ghost do you think we're going to be searching for? And that's it for the quick announcements. Let's get into the mail. So this is actually an interesting mail day. This this first one right here is actually from a viewer. So we're going to open this one up first and see what he sent us. This was, I did not buy it from him. He just sent it to me, so he wanted to send me something. So let's see what he sent us. Hopefully something pretty cool. So this was from Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Just go ahead and pull this stuff out. He said don't show his, his uh, name. There we go. Let's see what cards he sent us. Um, we got a top loader. Put that down right there. Another top loader. So we got a bunch of cards. Let's see what he sent us. So looks like he sent us some uh, newer Link stuff from Mega Pack 19. Okay. We got a lot of rares in here. Pretty cool. We got a cost down from Dual Pack Kaiba. Ooh, nice. Blackluster Soldier. Got a solitary sort of poison. A lot of newer uh, Mega Pack 19 stuff. So the Gold Sarcophagus 10. I did not open one of those on the channel, but I did open a few of them. So they're pretty cool. Look at that Toon Summon Skull Classic Starter Deck Pegasus card. So that's pretty awesome. Got some Gookie. Muka Muka MRD. That looks like it's from a 2014 reprint. That's pretty cool. A MRD rare. Earthbound Immortal. We pulled that one a couple times out of our uh, Makura set. So here we go. Let's see what he put in the top loaders. He put Dark Membele, Decode Destruction, and a Dark Magician Girl. Look at that. Yuki's Legendary Dex. First edition Dark Magician Girl. That's pretty cool. So, all right. Let's see what we got in the second top loader. We got a World Chalice Guard Dragon. Sea Lord's Amulet and a DD Crow. That's a nice playable card. So thanks for those free cards, Benjamin. I'm glad that we could open them up on the channel. If you guys ever want to send me something, then feel free. Um, I will open it up on the channel if you guys want. If it's like a pack or something, I'll definitely open it on the channel. That'd be pretty cool. So if you want to send like a pack or two, whatever, then I'll open it up. We can have a quick video over it, and, or I can mix it in with something else. Like if it's multiple packs, then it can make its own video or whatever. So you want to do that go for it it's, you definitely don't have to but it would be fun so let's get into the next thing this is a purchase from vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, aka lewis this is a pretty cool item that he just recently um he just recently upgraded his version so this is his old one and this as you can tell by the box back there is an lob card Let's see. All right, let's get rid of that. And it is. Okay, okay, it's a cardboard. Look at that sweet card. 
Thank you so much. No, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Not cardboard. It is cardboard, but uh, a little bit, a little bit different. Worth a little more probably. What he sent us was a wavy first edition Monster Reborn from Legend of Blue Eyes. So this is an ultra rare first edition wavy print. So this is really awesome. Um, I I had a raw copy, but not a graded version. So this was a pretty sweet pickup. Um, he gave me a, a fair deal on it, I think. So I'm I'm happy to pick it up. Um, it's also in one of the um, cases where they would like, so like you can see it's a little tilted, it's a little weird. Um, but I'm going to show you guys all of my Legend of Blue Eyes graded cards now. So I just added this one to the collection. This is one of three Ultras I own graded. Here's the second one. Um, we got a Gaia, the Fierce Knight, first edition. This one's a PSA 10. This is a glossy. So those are two of my Ultras. And here's the rest of my cards. We have a... Curse of Dragon. This got a near mint to mint eight. This is the only eight I have, but I graded this a while back. This was in my first submission ever. I got an eight, so um, I still like it. So I haven't gotten rid of it yet. That's a glossy print. I got a wavy mystical elf. That's a PSA nine. I got this one in a trade on Instagram from Yu-Gi-Oh buy sell a buy sell trade. So it's pretty awesome. It's PSA nine, but it is wavy. It's pretty cool. Then we got this one, the Celtic Guardian. This is a glossy mint nine. You guys saw this one in a recent video. I picked it up from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! First Deck Collector. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, let me skip that one. Actually, no, we'll go to this one, I guess. This is my last Ultra. This is a PSA 9 wavy right arm of the Forbidden One. So uh, I got this one from this one from Petty Party. Um, it ended up grading a 9. I was not expecting it, so that was pretty cool. So there's my third Ultra. My last three cards I have graded are a Trap Hole PSA 10 Glossy Print. Got this one for free from LOB AST Completed. He just gave it to me for free, which is really, really cool. First edition Gym Mint 10 from LOB. Really awesome to get for free. And then Dark Hole Wavy Print PSA 10. We graded this one ourselves um, in the my very first um, PSA sub on my own that I didn't send through someone else. So this one and the guy were graded in the same submission. So make sure you guys check out that video. It's in the, uh, if you check out playlists, I have my PSA returns in there. Um, and then finally we got the guy, the dragon champion we got recently, PSA 9. It is glossy, uh, obviously, because almost all of them are glossy. Apparently there is one that is not, which just doesn't make sense to me how there's just one of a wavy, but it doesn't really matter. But this is Glossy Mint 9, so really cool. This is all of my LOB graded stuff. I have a few other non-graded, like the exo most of the, all the other Exodi pieces and uh, stuff like that, but this is the stuff I have graded right now. So that was, that Mint 9 um, wavy LOB Monster Reborn is a nice addition to this. We're slowly chugging through LOB, trying to get some, I'm trying to get 9s and 10s. I, I'm not, I don't really need to have 10s of everything, even though it would be cool, but it's just so expensive these days. And the more I spend on LOB, the less I can spend on uh, openings. So, and obviously, I like to do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys um, have any sort of openings you want to see. Make sure you guys guess what you think the Ghost Rare search is going to be for. Um, and make sure you guys like it and turn on the the, the bell for notifications. So, um, we should be having some more openings coming up this week. Should, probably in the next couple of days. And hopefully a video tomorrow, but I'm not sure. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.